spin. Lack of spin. I think the Yeah, uh, yeah, all that All right, if we could uh, gather around once again for the finals competition. There wasn't a judging error, was there? The shotgun shouldn't have been in that top too. I'm just curious. Just sure. You were definitely in the top half dozen. That up definitely right. close. <laughs> we were actually competing, you realize. You were in the top we half. We needed a shotgun to cover your score. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our songs were full of holes. That does I got it. I got Next time we're going to score. I've been full of red. Yeah, I'm just saying. Did you just pick up the board of content? Yeah. Like now. You did good. Okay. 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 Oh, didn't you see that? The blonde brunette and the redhead? They, uh, they escaped from prison and they were, uh, oh goodness, well, maybe we're ready for our next contest. <laughs> so they escaped from the prison and of course they're running across the field trying to get away from the warden and the sergeant and the dogs, you know, chasing after them. They look back and they're gaining on them. They say, well, let's go hide that barn over there. So they burst into the barn and get in there and they're looking through the cracks and they see the warden and the sergeant coming towards them and they go, oh, what are we going to do? And the brunette says, well, let's climb in those sacks over there so they won't get us in there. So they climb in these sacks and, and a couple seconds later, psh, the doors burst open and the warden says to the sergeant, he says, go over and check those bags over there. So the sergeant goes over there and the first one, the brunette's in there and he kicks it and leans down and he hears, hey, and there's just cats in here, it's just cats. And we'll try the next bag over there, the redhead. And he kicks the one with the redhead and he leans down and he goes, Ruff, Ruff. There's just puppies in there, it's nothing, it's nothing. We'll try the third one then. And he kicks the third one with the blonde and he leans down and he hears, Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> we actually we had a gig one year in Idaho, and I told that joke. I was waiting my entire barbershop career to tell that joke Idaho. in Idaho. Yeah. It went over for you. <laughs> better than here? A little bit better than here. Yeah. All right, for our first finalist, please welcome again, Boys and the Hood. It's a cappella singing at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's just do a live. Let's do a live. All right. All right. Is it on? Yeah. Oh my God. Tomorrow, our hearts were as high. 
voicing the earth. So my wife is also sitting the singer and she's busy rehearsing the front row rehearsals tonight. Or front row competitions tonight. Yeah, a couple of people are gonna be dancing tonight. Otherwise I'm sure she would have been here. And it looks like uh, we're all set for our next and final finalist. Please welcome back to the stage, Naughty and Nice.
smoke alarm is our timer. <laughs> I think they're all set. At least he's still pressing buttons, so. Is that, yeah. <laughs> the person calculating the calculator. Uh, walking in of the ceremonial trophy. I mean, he, uh, if he could. Uh, and if the squares could sing a song, that would be fantastic. Come on up, the original squares. Yeah, sure. 
are quite lovely. Thank you. There you go. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Ego. <laughs> <laughs> you showed up. Yes. Yeah, I got the car in time. Thank you. Put it in your pocket. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. for this contest every year that we have it. Well, I guess it's not out of the ordinary because we've never had it before. Nothing's out of the ordinary. Um, we had some guests attend and drove all the way from Portland, Oregon, Combination Lock. <laughs> and we, um, we spoke to them because since we've never done this contest before, and we know all of you from locally, uh, in the Barbershop Harmony Society, after a contest, we do evaluations and we do little coaching sessions with groups to try to encourage them, let them know what they're doing well and what they could work on. And sometimes we even do those in a public kind of a setting, like a master class. So we approached our visitors and said, would you like to get an evaluation? And they said, yes, we would, because we've been singing together a whole two months. And because they wanted to show off their outfits, which were wonderful, <laughs> they said we would be willing to do it in front of the entire audience. So what we'd like to do is we'll do a kind of a mini version of a coaching evaluation session with the quartet. And each of us will, will work with them for a few minutes on uh, a couple of the areas within our category that we think best uh, would help them to move along on their journey of singing and performing better. So, why don't we just get combination lock up here?
can't do anything at the first time. Okay, great. So, you, so you've got that motion. You guys hear? Also, yep. pardon me? Yep. I want to make sure they can hear. Yep. What you're oh, saying. sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And in addition to that, you're singing with a little bit more abilities in your voice. Okay. So just take a deep breath. Go out. Okay. So you can get the ends of phrases easily and relax. Okay. And just do it one more time. See if you can get a smoothness with the phrase and maintain that sense of lock in terms of where your voices are, are producing that.
Awesome. So now Corinna will do some musical magic. Here we go. It's all about the chords, really. So the two, um, officer, a few observations I made, I thought you had a really strong uh, musical unit. You sing together really well. There's some things that you're doing together, though, that I'd like you to enhance. And one of them is clipping the ends of your phrases. So that the last chords of the phrases are sometimes mm -hmm. disappearing, so they're not fully realized. So that is maybe just an add-on to what Charlie's talking about in terms of just standing up straight and making sure that everything is supported all the way through the very end to it's the on, finale. It's on my sheet. It's on my sheet, it's on Charlie's sheet too. So it's a singing thing. I'm going to write it on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, it's on house for you. So um, could we do that? We could do that passage that you're doing right now. And just think about the end of the phrase being the best part of the phrase. So there's a little bit more chord to get out of the last chord of each phrase, especially when we're ending in a consonant, just to extend the vowel sound a little bit more, like we do. Like we do. <laughs> mm -hmm. 